Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Sark's 21st Annual Breakfast Chairs, Stephanie Papadopoulos and Julie Alpert. Good morning. Welcome to Sark's 21st Annual Community Breakfast. Next is now. Stephanie, it's great to be with you this morning, bright and early at the Sark's largest fundraiser of the year. What I love about this event is the tremendous community support. It's inspiring to see all of you out here this morning. Julie, it's been fun working with you on this great event. Sark has so much to be proud of this year. This morning we will hear about the vital services that Sark provides now, not only in Phoenix, but in the far reaches of our state, and what's next as Sark continues towards their goal of providing effective therapies within reach of every Arizonan. Our family was introduced to Sark when our daughter Eleni, one of our triplets, was diagnosed with autism in 2003. They're now juniors in high school and we've been through just about every program that Sark has to offer, from Jump Start to research studies to community works. Through these important programs, Sark has helped to put Eleni on the path to an independent and meaningful life. Sark has always been a big part of our family. My kids don't remember life before Sark. Because of this, it's been important for us to give back to Sark whenever and however we can. My involvement with autism began many years ago when my now 48-year-old cousin, Jim, was diagnosed with autism in early childhood. Jim didn't have access to early intervention programs that so many children now receive through SARC. My husband and I, and my husband Greg and I attended the SARC breakfast for many years and were inspired by every single one of them. But when 2000, or in 2010, when he suddenly passed away, I stopped going. As you might imagine, life got a little busy raising my three kids. Fortunately, when my kids were in middle school, my friend Stephanie encouraged me to return to the breakfast, and I've been a huge loyal supporter ever since. Oh. <laughs> well, Julie, as you know, putting this event together is not an easy task, and we would like to thank the dozens of volunteers and committee members including 50 of our grandparents who every year arrive before 5.30 a.m. to make sure this is an enjoyable experience for all of us. And now a warm thanks to the 120 table captains invited you to join us this morning to learn about autism. <clears throat> We'd also like to thank our generous sponsors. It's important for you to know that this breakfast is 100% underwritten by our sponsors and would not be made possible without their help. Every dollar raised today will go directly to research and important programs at SARC. Let's recognize our sponsors now. Please hold your applause until the end. Title sponsor, Jayberg Wilk. Oops, where are you? Gold sponsors, Kathy and Mike Bosco, and the Sanders Charitable Family Foundation. Silver sponsors, Aetna, Alliance Bank of Arizona, APS, Charles Schwab, the Fielder family, Greenberg Traurig, MJ Insurance, MST Solutions, Sanderson Ford, and Snell and Wilmer. And we'd like to thank our bronze sponsors who are listed on the screens. We would also like to thank our supporting sponsors and in-kind contributors. They're listed on the back of your program. Now let's acknowledge the dignitaries and elected officials who are here today to share our commitment to serve our communities and our families affected by autism. Please hold your applause to the end. When your name is called, please stand and remain standing. State Senator Sylvia Allen, State Senator Nancy Bartow, State Senator John Kavanaugh, State Representative Kelly Butler, State Representative Heather Carter, 
State Representative Charlene Fernandez. State Representative Aaron Lieberman. State Representative Michelle Eugenti Rita. Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone. Phoenix City Councilman Jim Waring.